Good morning, my doers. What are you doing today? I am going to pick up this load. I was trying to get to my new position, but of course, you gotta go through something to get something, right? So, sometimes you have to just do a little extra to get a little extra, you know? So you just grit your teeth, you bear it, and you just do it, you know? Because um, a lot of people don't even get a chance to even try, you know, and they just want to try, and it's just, they're not able to. And um, if you get a chance, even though somebody may be trying to hamper your chance to do something that you want to do, if you're able-bodied and you're able to do it, just go ahead and do it. Do it, as long as it's something good. What I always say, as long as it's something good, do it. This morning, I'm starting my morning out. Took my vitamins. Um, I took a, I'm using this, this organic greens this morning with my um, pro, uh, meal replacement shake from uh, Walmart. I like these, you know. I still wish they came in cans like they used to, but they come in plastic bottles now. I really like it in the plastic bar. I prefer the cans. So I just put it in here and put my um hopefully I chop haven't charged in the while. It's still working. I'm mixing it up. And that would be my breakfast. This week, you know, I'm gonna try to do mostly liquids. Which is really so hard for me because I haven't done it in so long. But that's what I'm trying to do right now. Everything I'm doing is mostly going to be liquids. And I got to try to drink a little more water. I don't think I drank enough water yesterday because I was trying to find the place to get the load to. So uh, I didn't drink a lot of water yesterday. So I got to drink more water today. I forgot to get in my son to get me some water. Uh, I don't know if I'm going today without my sweatband on. I wore my sweatbands all day yesterday. I wear two. I wear two sweatbands. <laughs> I wear one for the lower part of my stomach. It's this one and then I wear this one all the way around my waist. So I don't know if I'm going to put it on this morning. I think I should though. Because I'm not, um, I'm just going to be sitting here. So before I do my workout today, uh, hopefully I'll get around to it later on this evening. Because uh, I worked out last night. Um, last night I just did the um, the lift gate. I, you know, with the squats, I did the lift gate exercise. Check out the lift gate on my trucker size video. I am going to do a clearer, more precise uh, examples of the exercises to trucker size uh, when I get my day home in front of my green screen I'm going to do um, I'm going to do it again for you guys okay I'm going to do all the exercises and um, and show you just how I do them um, there are things that truck drivers do every day so I know you can do them even if you do five if you do four just start out small, okay? And that's what I do. That's what I'm doing, you know? Because coming into this, I was overweight. I am overweight. I'm still overweight. and But I'm working on it. And it takes a while. It didn't take overnight for me to get this on me like this. This took a while. <laughs> it took a lot of cake, a lot of cookies, a lot of pies. Which is my favorite thing is cookies. So, which are my favorite thing is cookies. Um, so... Like I said, it didn't take me, I didn't, it wasn't an overnight thing to get this weight on me. It's not going to be an overnight thing to get it off. So, but I am working on it. I am doing it, you know, and, and that's, that's all that counts. You know, it's, this isn't a new year's resolution for me. This is a new life resolution for me. And it's about time that, you know, I look for joy just within myself. It's just been really hard to find. And then when people um, around me don't see it or feel it or don't want to be around me um, or even talk to me, 
sometimes it gets you down sometimes it gets you down but then you have to think about what that does is take you away from the people who do want to be around you who do want to talk to you you know so sometimes you just have to you know let go and let god let go and let god for the people who do call cherish those people for the people who do care cherish those people because you can't make somebody else care about you you just can't no matter how much you care about them but it doesn't mean for you to stop caring about them you can continue to care about that person you can continue to love that person you can continue to uh, want that person to be in your life but they just don't have to be because you can't force them to be let them have their space let them go because you they either may not be that into you or may not you know see you as a potential best friend may not see you as someone that can mentor them or someone that can advance their life because a lot of people are just looking for someone in their life to advance their life you know whether it be emotional whether it be mental whether it be physical <laughs> or whether it be uh, financial you know a lot of people are looking for people to hang around so their finances will get better because if you hang around money you get money that's what a lot of people say so um, me I'm only looking for joy money helps keep the bill paid and it makes you joyful so yeah I need a little of that too but the main thing I'm looking for in my life is joy, to feel happiness, to feel accomplishments. You know what? I have a lot of accomplishments. Watch my videos, guys. Got a lot of accomplishments. I'm not looking for that anymore because I do have the accomplishments. I am just looking for joy. That is the only thing that's been left out of my life that I've left out of my life is just feeling straight joy and happiness. Yes. So whatever it is you're looking for, keep looking for it, you know? Because sometimes it don't come and find you. Sometimes it doesn't. But I was listening to a young man, and he was saying that, um, <clears throat> it, yeah, it's about loving yourself first, you know? It's about taking care of yourself first. And someone that would really love you, somebody who would really care about you, will just come. You don't have to look for somebody to love you. But I'm talking about looking for joy in things that you do is what I'm trying to say. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to tell you go look for no man, look for no woman. No, no, no. Look for no best friend. They will come. When you find that joy within yourself and you exude that joy around the world and, and, and everybody who sees you, people will come to you. They will come to you in your life and stay in your life and if they and if they stay in your life for a moment they will have a purpose they will have a reason for the season it'll be a reason for their season in your life so that's what I'm doing right now I am going to give joy to myself and love myself take care of myself better myself so people will be like oh who look at her look at her working out look at her look at her taking care of herself look at her love for herself that's what you want that's what you want. You want to love yourself first. Before you, you can't do nothing for nobody else until you love you. You can't do nothing for nobody else because you'll be constantly reaching out trying to get everybody else to help you. You like the you like crabs in a bucket. You just reaching up, reaching up, reaching up, and a lot of times them crabs don't even get out because they steady pulling each other back down, right? So don't be the crab in the bucket. So that's the pep talk for the day. Love you guys keep on watching subscribe to my videos and like bye bye it's angie and i'm doing it and you can do it too <laughs>